I am Suvin Bhattacharji and I am honored to speak about the BHEX Pupil Expander. The awards testify that the BHEX has indeed redefined pupil expansion. I thank Dr. Deepak, Dr. Neto, Dr. Sri, Dr. Ajay, and Dr. Dev Dudal for the videos. BHEX is a globally patented, simple, safe, and affordable pupil expander made in India and shipped worldwide by MedInvent devices. We are currently exporting to quite a few countries. The 75 micron profile is one tenth the thickness of other devices. Hexagon with notches and flanges. The housing presents the preloaded device at the incision and the BHEX 23 gauge forceps advances it through the incision. As alternate flanges are tucked under the iris, the pupil expands. The iris bends at the notches, while the BHEX remains in a single plane. Notches are disengaged and the device is removed through the main incision. In fact, the BHEX can exit through a 1mm side port incision, which no other device can. The need for a better pupil expander stemmed from the fact that the scrolls of the Mulligan ring, though brilliant, are biplanar and are responsible for snagging the incision and crushing of the iris. The radically different inventive step is the uniplanar design of the BHEX. The scrolls of the Mulligan ring are biplanar and they snag the incision, require an injector and a bulky tube. On the other hand, the notches and flanges of the BHEX are thin and in a single plane, which obviates the need of an injector and the device glides in and out of very small incisions. In the Mulligan ring, the scrolls straddle the pupil margin, while in the BHEX, the pupil margin straddles the notches. The iris bends harmlessly and reversibly at the notches, while the BHEX remains in a single plane. Publications have endorsed its usefulness in difficult cataract and vitreoretinal surgery. Chang and Campbell published that unlike non-elastic pupils, the IFIS pupil immediately snaps back when stressed. So we have an elastic pupil which is like a rubber band and any device will work. Whereas the non-elastic pupil is like a string and it can be only torn or broken and it requires a strong and bulky expander. The choice depends on how you wish to tear the rigid pupil. With two Kuglen hooks, the hair thin BX allows a lot of space in the AC for instruments. To tear with the pupil expander, it has to be bulky and that would obstruct instruments. This is an elastic pupil. As alternate flanges are tucked, the pupil expands to 5.5 mm for easy phacoemulsification and IOL implantation. The flanges are untucked and the BHEX literally walks out of the main incision. And here, the BHEX is removed easily through a 1 mm side port incision, which no other pupil expander can do and is very useful in tight situations. A rigid pupil and a hard cataract. A bimanual stretch makes it easier to tuck the flanges of the BHEX. As we can see, the 5.5 mm pupil is more than adequate to emulsify even this hard a cataract. And once again, removal is so easy. This is a rigid pupil with a fibrotic membrane. Stretching was not attempted and only the fibrotic membrane was removed. When the pupil still remains rigid, by manual tucking of the flanges using the forceps and the iris hook or Kuglen hook helps engage the BHEX with ease. And we have such good visibility for surgery. Despite being rigid and fibrotic, we have a nice round pupil. This is an extremely shallow anterior chamber, and we can see how the 75 micron thin BHEX can easily be tucked under the pupil margin. Despite the shallow chamber, every step is so controlled and safe, and it allows so much space for the phaco probe and other instruments. 
the BHEX never comes in the way of IOL implantation. Here, the pupil becomes small as phaco is commenced. A little viscoelastic lifts off the iris from the capsular axis. The uniplanar design and open notches ensure that the capsular axis is not engaged as the flanges are tucked. As the flanges are tucked and advanced, there is instant confirmation. And now we are back to our comfort zone. IFIS and pupil expansion devices. If we leave iris billowing, there is meiosis and iris prolapse. For meiosis, iris hooks and pupil expanders both will work because they provide constant pupil size, which provides good visibility for safe phaco emulsification. Whereas in iris prolapse, no device helps because iris prolapse depends on IFIS severity and pathological damage to iris stroma and muscles. So there is no credit to the pupil device when you don't have iris prolapse. It's just low grade IFIS. So a favorable pupil expansion device in IFIS will be one which requires small incisions that will cause less leak and iris prolapse. And the one which is thin and has a low vertical profile allows more space in the AC and which can exit through a side port when iris may be prolapsing. Despite iris hooks, I had a frayed iris even before I had finished my capsular excess. The iris looks like a fishing net and I had to protect it as I inserted the phaco probe. It isn't surprising that I have a knuckle of iris prolapse through the side port. The iris is patulous and moves like the sail of a boat as viscoelastic is injected. The IOL is injected safely, but the iris looks like a fishing net and is completely frayed. Given the situation, the end result looks pretty good. And this is a short eye with a shallow AC planned for a toric IOL. And as soon as I inject viscoelastic, I note a little fluttering. So I choose to use a BHEX pupil expander, but the IFIS is so overwhelming that I have an iris prolapse to the side port as well as the main incision. Nevertheless, I managed to put in an IOL and align it. The BHEX can be removed through a one millimeter side port and that's a huge advantage in an IFIS situation like this. Pupil devices do not prevent iris prolapse, but they provide a constant pupil size. This is a femtolaser cataract surgery with an older generation BHEX pupil expander. And here the hexagonal pupil is seen after docking and the pupil diameter is fixed and the treatment is completed. The free floating capsule is removed and phaco emulsification is completed. And IOL implantation is again easy because of the visibility and removal of the BHEX is as usual very easy. And here Femtocapsulotomy and nuclear fragmentation is done with a 4.1 pupil. The error shows up because the capsulotomy intersects the iris and an adjustment has to be made to the capsulotomy size. And now the femto treatment is completed uneventfully. The free capsular flap comes out very easily, but the pupil is too small for safe phaco emulsification. So a BHEX pupil expander is used, and as the alternate flanges are tucked, the capsular excess is safe because of the uniplanar design of the BHEX. Despite the small capsular excess size, FICO emulsification is now so much safer and easier. And that is the last fragment being emulsified. And similarly, IOL implantation is under such clear visualization. And removal is so easy. And we have a wonderful round pupil at the end of surgery. The BHEX has been used in a series of vitreoretinal surgeries. The BHEX provided good visualization for the cataract removal, followed by vitrectomy for the vitreous hemorrhage and laser photocoagulation. And this is a silicon filled eye with PVR, where the BHEX provided good visualization for silicon oil removal, followed by PVR membrane removal and identification of the break which was in the extreme periphery, followed by a retinotomy, 
and fluid air exchange with gratifying results. If you are looking for an easy device that allows a lot of space in the antechamber, the BHEX is your go to pupil expander. If you're looking to tear a fibrotic pupil, you will need a bulky malugan or APX. This could be easily done with Kuglin hooks. The choice is yours. Thank you.